For once, Sanchez doesn't look so strong. And he stabs it on the rope. Donovan Batch is taking it close and there is a brilliant stopper from the referee. A brilliant victory. Mahigit anim na buuan din ang nakalipas, matapos ang huling laban ng ating kababayan, na si Michael Dasmariñas. Kung saan apat na round lang ang kinailangan nito, para talunin ang isang Indonesian fighter. Michael Hot and Spicy Dasmariñas! At nitong buwan naman ng Disyembre, sa katatapos lamang na boxing event ay muling tumungtong sa ibabaw ng lona, si Michael Dasmariñas. Para naman harapin ang isang Panamanian fighter, na si George Sanchez. At sa naging laban ngang ito mga idol, ay mayroong ring record itong si George Sanchez, na labing siyam na panalo. Siyam dito ang galing sa knockout, at mayroon ng walong talo. Habang mayroon namang ring record ang ating kababayan, na tatlumpot tatlo na panalo, dalawampot dalawa di ito ang galing sa knockout. May tatlong talo at dalawang tabla. Kung saan nakaschedule naman ang naging sagupaan na ito, ng 8 rounds of bout sa featherweight division. Narito at atin ngang panoorin mga idol, kung anong laban nga ba ang ipinakita dito, ng ating kababayan. So here we go at featherweight. Don't take your eye off this, everybody. We've got a real class operator in Michael Desmarinas here to make a big statement for all his Filipino compatriots in the Cayman Islands. Started very sharply indeed against Jorge Sanchez in his own right, in the pink here. Fringe world class at his best. Now taking on a really big name. Can he make a, a statement at this stage in his career that he's not on the slide? Trying to pin Desmarinas against that middle rope in the opening minute of this fight. Des <laughs> Sun Pro since 2011. Didn't leave Panama actually until 2000. First trip abroad was to Manchester. Lost to a very good fighter in Gavin McDonnell. Over 12 hard rounds. Korea more losses slightly than wins since then. But ever competitive. And still challenging for titles of various kinds. He's always prepared to let go in the early stages of a fight, I'm told. Actually came a cropper doing that. Round. Last outing back in Panama went the full eight rounds, but here at featherweight against a very classy operator in Desmarinas. Desmarinas, the kind of fight he was expecting tonight. Mm -hmm. Certainly turning on the pressure. Not giving any room to Mike for Ooh. Michael to breathe. Russell, it's one way to deal with the South Boys. Do it and take what comes to get your own shots off. Back in the long run, but it makes it action-packed. And this most certainly has been. The first round, and Sanchez has put a lot of... He's been working at the world-famous Wild Card Gym. There's Marinas. The more or two, I would say that. Sanchez trying to create a bit of chaos early on tonight. One or two little signs early in the second round that Desmarinas, who composed himself, if you remember, when he went back to his corner, has now totally tuned in to the fight zone itself. Live here on fight zone. And to make the class show. Class show. Roared on by this raucous Filipino support here tonight. This is like being in Manila. And a big title fight. As Marinas gets to work, I felt it had to happen. Suddenly he starts to back Sanchez up. Sanchez might pay for all the early 
energy expended here. Arenas, and they're quite chilling. They're hurtful punches, very well executed, and suddenly there's not a lot coming back. Desmarinas shifting the plot line immediately in this second round in very impressive fashion. As if to say, mess with me. This is a home away from home for me. And yeah. here there by Sanchez. Great shot as well. Yeah. Him for taking all of them, but they aren't doing him anything. Calm and efficient, but suddenly, Desmarinas. Double left hook, if you please. Sanchez is an easy target, but the thrilling accuracy of some of this work in the second round is taking one's breath. Crowd are absolutely loving this. Here's a question for us already. Can Sanchez possibly hope to go eight rounds like this? I highly, highly doubt it. They're pretty tough. He feels he learned more over those three rounds than the end. More lateral movement. That's good by Sanchez, but Desmarinas had read it. It's a sneaky uppercut on the inside. This has been terrific so far. Looks for it. That's great. Downstairs and up. Everyone is a telling shot. But doggedly, Sanchez walks forward <laughs> it is into harm's way. He's showing incredible heart, incredible toughness. But it only... Conscious effort made by Sanchez to get closer. And he's using all the tools at his disposal to do that in this round. Perhaps he is heavy shots, but it doesn't seem to be the case. If it is a plan, Russell, I've heard of better from things. It's a bit harder in this round. After that, superb. More coming back from Sanchez. Rising to the occasion here tonight. Not so many of those are actually scoring punches. It was a flashy combination, wasn't it, from Desmarinas? But certainly, Sancho. But he. It's a good looking shot. Feet are planted. He sends right from his shoe straps upward. A more assertive puncher. Now, after the reminder, look. But can he keep it going? Because he didn't keep it going, reverting to more outside work. Everything comes off the good, accurate boxing. With a little bit of pep in the punches. Not every shot has to be a devastating one but that was a beauty underneath and again so it was walked through both of them without a problem he's like the terminator and there he's moving forward to everything and it doesn't seem to have any effect make no mistake this is a very high quality eight rounder at featherweight this it was powerful and it did sweep Sanchez sideways, but it wasn't enough to knock him over. Tried it again there to Desmarinas. Beautiful downstairs and upstairs. He does do that particularly well. Little and his feet are very well under him. Sanchez, that is. the uh, overall shape of this round having taken some real the way through it he's still landing plenty of scoring punches himself 
the eye-catching work may have come from Desmarinas, but let's not overlook the work that Sanchez is doing. He still retains his balance. 100%. I don't know how he does that. It's quite a marvelous showing by him. Two high-quality operate. Still with plenty. 33, as much as for the hot and spicy 31-year-old from the Philippines. And it's very telling indeed that from the crowd, all these Filipinos, they know boxing. They're much more engaged in the contest. Studied, if I could put it, contest. They were hooping and hollering after a round and a half when Desmarina turned up the know that. Sanchez is still very much in it. Very for sure. That includes Desmarinas. A reminder from the corner to Desmarinas to keep his hands up. Turn again, he's let that right go underneath. And Sanchez has taken every single one of them and come right back. Sanchez for once goes back onto the ropes. Desmarinas might be tempted to go for it here a little bit. Sanchez is in a bit of trouble for me. And he did just the right thing in getting out of that corner. Good work from Sanchez again. Desmarinas is throwing the eye-catching shots. But Sanchez is refusing Marinas to think he's made a big breakthrough. Talk about hands of stone, Roberto Di Des Marinas has been through the playbook and looked mighty impressive doing it. There's nothing in that. Rounds. And in there he's blowing hard, but he still keeps digging in and making headway. Literally so at times. Yeah, he has an answer for everything. Like you said, he, he's been hit with the hurricane like nothing is affecting him. shot from Desmarinas is a good one, but every shot has been taken so well so far by Sanchez. <laughs> it stopped again. Neither has really got the two halts in the action to the mind of Desmarinas. As experienced as he is, he shouldn't be panicked, but you never know. And more of a premium than ever in this really good fight tonight for Desmarinas to keep unboxing. Yet again, Sanchez is just walking through. Desmarinas is coming on strong. And for once, Sanchez doesn't look so strong. And he's stacked it on the rope. Donovan Batch is taking a closer look. It's a brilliant step up from the referee. A brilliant victory for Michael Desmarinas in a tremendous featherweight contest. World class both ways. Bago pa man nga po magtapos ang ika-anim na round, ay dito na napagpasyahan ng third man in the ring. Naihinto na ang kanilang bakbakan. Kaya naman tagumpay ang ating kababayan na si Michael Desmarinas by a six-round technical knockout. Like